Hi, hope you all are doing well. Everyone wants to become successful. We all want to make mark in our career. You know, success is an art. To perfect that art, you need to follow certain impactful habits to boost your growth. Just making minor habit adjustment can improve your productivity and your overall performance. Today, I'm gonna talk about how to become an effective programmer. We know programmers are in great demand and that's the reason why many of you want to become a programmer. But remember, along with technical knowledge, you must have few worthy habits to be an effective programmer. So let's talk about seven great professional habits of highly effective programmers that separate great programmers from ordinary ones. All right, so the first one is writing clean code. Programming is not all about learning different languages and writing code. It's about writing clean, readable, and easy to modify code. Whatever programming languages you use, clean and highly modular code is easier to read and test. It helps you save tons of time in the long run. Look, if you can treat your code like your own car, garden, or living space, you can become a good programmer. Many a time, out of pressure or lack of time, you tend to ignore clean coding practice. But that makes your code more confusing and also consume more time when you want to fix some bugs. So never underestimate the importance of clean code. It's important to make a habit to use meaningful names for variables, functions, classes, modules, directories, packages, etc. You should always organize your code using classes, functions, or methods. You should leave meaningful comments wherever required. It will help you debug faster in future. You should also follow a coding standard that helps to structure your code in a consistent manner. And all these practices improve your code quality and maintainability. Next one is use version control system. To be an effective programmer, you should use version control system. It helps track and manage the changes done in your program. If you make any mistake in your project, you can easily roll back to the previous version of the code using version control. Without version control, you'd go back to the original version of the code to fix bugs. And that would be time consuming and frustrating too. Working on a project without version control is too risky. It's like not having backups. Next one is time management at work. If you can manage your time well, you can be highly productive. Time management allows you to set priorities and help manage your available resources correctly. In order to manage time well, you can make a list of your tasks for the day. You can also set priorities for different tasks. You can figure out things that needs to be done in the morning and what can wait until the evening. Now, you can face limitless distractions at work that you cannot control like mobile phone, social media, web browsing, office politics. To stay focused, you need to get rid of them. It's difficult to conquer them, but not impossible. Just identify what is killing your productivity and work on them for a few days. You will overcome all those interruptions. Next one is be proactive. Being proactive is all about taking responsibility, taking initiative to learn new skills, improving productivity, enhancing ability. Proactive people invest their energy in the things that they can control instead of worrying about conditions over which they have little or no control. They make most out of the free time by learning new technologies, concepts. They actively participate in the process of software development and not just passively observe it. They take timely and decisive action and always willing to take challenging task. Being proactive is a choice. It's a habit that you can develop. If you can demonstrate a proactive mentality at work, your manager will count on your reliability and you can create a good reputation at work. All right, so the next one is document the program. Documenting the program is a necessary process. It's a backbone of every application. It improves on the quality of an application. Documentation is a critical for other programmers who can work on your program after you 
and can make necessary modifications in the program. It's not just for other programmers, but you can also require it when you return to a project after a long time. Next is continuous learning. To survive in this competitive world, you need to continuously improve yourself. Look, the world of work is ever changing. So you are required to keep your skills updated and learn new ones. It's proven fact that learning new skills make you more employable. It not just allow you to stay relevant for the job you do, but also make you more appealing to future employers. Knowledge acquisition also increases your earning pot potential within your profession. There are many ways to upgrade your skills. You might consider to get some certifications for your current field of work. You can also join some skill announcement programs, online training, read tutorials, watch videos, etc. And the last one is knowing your strengths and weaknesses. You can be a better programmer by knowing yourself. You should know your strengths and weaknesses and work around that to succeed. Look, you are not made for doing everything. You may be good at front-end development, but may not be an expert at back-end programming. When you know your forte, you can set priorities accordingly and choose your direction and move forward. So by knowing yourself, your strengths and weaknesses are crucial for your growth. And that's all about great habits of highly effective programmers. Hope you find this helpful. If you have any question, please write in the comment box below. I'll get back to you. Thank you and see you next time.